just some, some perspective, some history uh, on the vicious Israeli raid from the Freedom Flotilla. Um, that's the way it's being packaged tonight. Quite honestly, if Israel is wrong, Israel is wrong, and we'll talk about it. I don't see it. I'm having a hard time, especially if you understand history and you actually ask the questions that, you know, media people should be asking. The, the flotilla, it was, it was three cargo ships and three passenger ships, right? Three of the ships were provided by the Turkish group IHH. IHH. Okay? That is the... Um, um, what is it? The Humanitarian Relief Foundation from Turkey. It's an aid organization founded in 1992. There were other ships, other ships that were organized by Free Gaza. Free Gaza. This one's founded in 2008. They describe themselves as human rights group. They've been sending activists to challenge the Israeli blockade for the past two years. Nine peace activists from the Freedom Flotilla were killed peace activists, humanitarian flotilla, give aid to the embattled Palestinians, the Gaza Strip, right? Yeah. Man, look at those peace activists. They are good with a metal pipe, aren't they? Peaceful ship. Okay. This is probably all you've gotten from the mainstream media. Turn on any media outlet other than this one. They're not going to show you this. And they're not going to take it any farther than this. This aid organization, are they just a group of caring, sympathetic do-gooders that see the plight of the poor Gazans, want to get food and humanitarian aid to them? I mean, they're even going to risk their lives by going through the savage, brutal uh, uh, Israeli blockade. Now, some may wonder, why? Why? Why take the ships? Wouldn't it be easier to go through Egypt? Oh, we'll get back to that later. No, no, they had to take these ships provided by these two organizations. Hmm. Is Israel or Egypt stopping the Red Cross from giving aid? Because you could go from the Red Cross. Are they stopping other aid organizations, uh, you know, for the refugee aid? How about the Red Crescent Society? It's the Red Cross. Or Save the Children or the United Nations. How about that? Is any of that being stopped? No. 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 But Free Gaza is. And remember, this is a humanitarian. This is not political. Free Gaza is not political at all. It's only aid. Free Gaza. Hmm. Not political. I mean, look at the name. How about that for a name? Really? Seriously. Pretty good. Peace organization. Political. As if they've already chosen sides that Gaza needs to be freed. I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm just pointing out here. Uh, Egypt doesn't want Gaza to be free. So what's the history here of these two groups? Well, according to the Danish Institute study, do I have this still on my desk? The Danish Institute study, oh, it's fantastic. Uh, I left it on my desk in the office. It's a wonderful peace organization. Uh, the Turkish authorities began investigating IHH at least in December, two th uh, sorry, uh, December 1997, after having received information that senior IHH figures had purchased automatic weapons in the peace process for radical Islamic organizations. Radical Islamic? I, our DOJ just said that doesn't even exist. The office of the uh, organization in Istanbul was raided. The activists were arrested there at IHH. During the raid, the Tur Turkish security forces found weapons, explosives, bomb-making instructions, and a jihadi flag. An examination of the documents found IHH office um, indicated that IHH uh, members were planning to take part in jihad activities in Afghanistan, Bosnia, and Chechnya. This one. This wonderful organization that provided three of the ships. That's who they are. By the way, did you know that this country here, Cyprus, would not let these boats dock here? Why? Why? Because according to their Ministry of Communications, quote, it has been clarified to them the Cyprus government did not wish at the present to be engaged in their operation. They think they're terrorists. France's former top counter-terrorist judge, Jean-Louis uh, Breguier, said the IHH has, quote, clear, long-standing ties to terrorism and jihad. That's the French. 
They played a role in the thwarted uh, plot to bomb Los Angeles International Airport in 1999. Did you know that this humanitarian group did that? Also, it said, the IHH leaders, quote, were basically helping al-Qaeda when Osama bin Laden started to target on U.S. soil. This humanitarian group, that's the French. Now, according to Arab media reports, the flotilla participants were preparing and writing wills and preparing for martyrdom, determined to break the blockade or die. Hmm. That doesn't sound like a peace activist just trying to get a wheelchair to somebody. Israel offered the opportunity to dock, to dock and be checked right into Gaza. Egypt offered to dock the ship as well, offload all of the aid, get it to Gaza. Egypt and Israel said, we'll dock the ship. The IHH and Free Gaza refused. Why? Why? Could it be that maybe aid was the furthest thing from their minds? Ask yourself, did these humanitarians, these peace activists, suddenly have a jihad turning point on board the ship? Decide to make films because they made a snap decision to martyr themselves? They, they were making wills because I'm a peace activist, but I'm going to die a martyr. Did that happen? Or was it maybe not a humanitarian ship from the beginning? <laughs> That's IHH. What about free Gaza? Despite all of this evidence, the extensive terror ties find, found by the IDF, at least 50 of the passengers had ties with terrorist links. 50. And yet the world is condemning Israel. It's weird, because the video doesn't even... It's just like the Tea Party. The Tea Party here in America, the media expected and wanted them to be violent. They expected it. Instead, they showed us this. But we're being told these are violent people. Well, they, may not they wanted the IDF to be the bad guy here. But when the IDF brought paint guns to a riot, the narrative was ruined. But they don't care anymore. They just make the most of it. Despite the video showing, show the video of IDF, please. Here, can we show the video? Apparently not. There it is. Okay. Here you go, taking people, putting them down on the ground, and beating them with pipes. You don't see that video unless you're watching this network. You may have a hard time finding it on other networks. There's something else going on here, something else. And Free Gaza might be involved. And are there any Americans involved at all? How about the media? We'll look at those two things next.